Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's, uh, well, Let's Play Baldur's Gate Trilogy, <laughs> uh, featuring Baldur's Gate 3. So, in our last episode, we got a mission to get some boots for a Dwergar general. Uh, apparently, they're worth killing over. But, yes, we've reached the point in the map where it seems we're, we're heading into Mykonid territory, quite possibly. I'm just looking at these mushrooms, and I'm just, my god, I'm just falling in love with this place in terms of the visuals. I just had no idea the, oh, hello, that looks useful. I just had no idea the Underdark could be so not dark. I mean, it's bright. It's really cool. But I think at the end of the day, it does kind of make sense. I mean, fungi like mushrooms are known to grow in places devoid of sunlight, I believe. Don't hold me to that. I'm not very not very knowledgeable about that stuff but anyway so so basically according to our map it looks like it looks like it might even be bigger but um this entire lower half is where we wound up when we started there's another area we could get to down here but i was a little wary because it looked like there might be turrets uh looking for us in sort of a ruined building so i thought well We'll hold off on that and see if we can get there later. Uh, but yes, lots of things to do. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, the Myconids, the mushroom people. The air is thick with spores. They must thrive in the dark. Whisper mode. I want to take it stealthy. I can already see this crab coming in. A little worried about, um... Getting hit with the good old confusion. More oh. are coming. Hello? That voice. What was that? I don't know. They're coming. They're coming. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone just pulled the alarm on us. Um. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They're coming. You're coming. Oh yeah, they know we're here. So we're gonna want to be very, very careful. Doesn't look like the purple stuff is doing anything to me. That's the good news. Uh, but yeah. I say we keep pressing on and hopefully we don't run into anything. Oh, here's a where are I wonder if he Okay. I don't like that. Don't like that. Can't be anything good. Battleground. There are Dwergar and Myconids among the dead. Yo. I just noticed some. Uh oh. Hastening spo oh well. Nice. Okay. Cool. I'll take those. Goodness. Looks like we could jump there if we had the right uh, tools, but I think I'll just keep climbing instead. For all I know, that could be a shortcut away from something bad, though, of course, so. Yeah, we'll just, uh. Swarming toadstools. Alright. Alright. Boy. Oh, hello. Yeah, this, um... Hmm. Okay, we have a few Myconids here, and I also noticed a few, uh, Explody Spores, so... Let me... Well, that was nice. Uh, I didn't hurt anybody, thank goodness. I'm kind of surprised these guys didn't already set it off. Uh, hasting spores. Shadows don't suit me. Careful. Even the mushrooms down here can't be trusted. Hmm. Looks. A tin mask. Probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'm iffy about blowing these up. 
Snake, snake. Let's see here. Okay, so we're getting close to the first quest, finding the missing boots. Uh, but it looks like there's another way out. I don't know which one that is. However, this actually says we used to get the Yankee Crest and travel to the Mountain Pass, so that looks like a way to the Mountain Pass if we want to go there, which I certainly do. Uh, okay. Well, I don't see what good hiding will do us, because it's pretty clear that... Way. Actually, let's set our, uh, dip so dumb. Okay, never mind. I guess. It's... Always room for more. I guess this is just not the damn thing. I don't know why. I was kind of worried that um. But I guess they don't care. On my way. Ooh, hello. Uh, tin mask spores. Well, well, well. So we can just pick these up. I'm guessing they're alchemical ingredients. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we better get back out of there. Just... Rapport spores. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. What to do? Light on my feet. Okay. Well, might as well Swallowed talk to these people. Chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature, sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Uh, oh, I'm a peaceful tune in harmony with the Sovereign. Why not? Detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Wow. Okay. These Mykonids look freaking awesome. I love how much more um, variable they've become in terms of color. But yeah, this is... This should be interesting. Ebon Lake Grotto. Okay. So, yeah. The Sovereign, as he's called. So, yeah. Feel free to make whatever Mass Effect jokes you want. I'm going to try and find this guy. Where the hell he is. Oh, I found a waypoint! Underdark. Myconid Land. <laughs> uh, also, I'm not allowed to take their... Uh, Things or else I'll get in trouble. Okay. Let's see. Mossy Myconid. And they even have a shopkeeper here, which is very good. Um, all. And let's see. Wow. Holy hell. It's a pretty strong trader. What do you have for sale? Blurg. Ah, a visitor. You're oh, a hobgoblin. Sight, but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance, at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Yeah, <laughs> I've been around. I've never heard, heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a 
dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? I... <laughs> Uh, a mind flare infected me with a. Yeah, fuck Truly it. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Yeah. I don't know if Shadowheart will like it, but I'm not seeking her approval anyway, you so. You were infected by an illicit tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Zerg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? <laughs> That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Um, yeah, absolutely. Please don't kill me. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. <laughs> yeah, ah, let's be nice. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. What happens if it goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. I wonder if it's any more agonizing than this noise I keep hearing. Good lord. Um, can't extract it, can you? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Yeah, well. Doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. Oh, but thank God. Not Stop. to worry. Should you transform? I will happily perform a new examination. Uh, strange mind flare ship. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. You're they kidding me. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Well, thanks for the information, anyway. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Um, okay. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned. In their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is... 
self-explanatory. So, where do I find them? The Underdark, of course. Although Gee, they thanks. Are quite rare, and their discovery, perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Ah, uh, where she lives. The southwest when I last saw her. Although her tower does have a tendency to move. Southwest, her tower. Um, why would she have these things? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Susa Bark took priority. Susa Bark, you say? Huh. All right then. Yeah, I'll come back when I find him. May your travels be safe and swift. That has got to be the friendliest illithid and hobgoblin I have ever met, and I never expected to find him in the exact same place. Hello. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Um. Anything interesting to trade? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Let's see, Dino Stride. Circle of Blasting, nice. The Baneful. Okay. Magical powers only function if, okay. Goodness. Man, so many nice things. Okay, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and take a moment to probably just do some selling for now. I might buy some stuff later. I read about Mike. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwegar, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many. But intruders remain. Lakewood. The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwergar invaders, huh? I'd like to hear their side of the story first, but all right. Why did they attack? Deep purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwega. The Dwega seek a gnome. It is a guest. Admirable of you to harbor her. The sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. I mean, why the hell not? An illusion comes over you. A Dwegar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. Hmm. Okay, then. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Um, what you doing, of course, by the way? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die down here, 
Destroy my corpse. Uh, noted. I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. He's spore flying us. Hmm. And you know, I just got thinking. Let's see, Chasm Creeper. Rogue's Morsel. Elixir of the Colossus? Okay then. I didn't catch it in time. Goodness gracious, look at this. Let's see here. Greater Arcane Cultivation. And this one makes you grow bigger, so... Um... Can't make any grenades, unfortunately. Is there oil diminution? Okay. Sure. Now, let's talk to I this little moment. gnome here, whom I'm sure has the... Oh, Dwargar poison. Discussion. Don't. Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon, most likely held by the poisoner. Uh, maybe an antitox will work? Ah, gods! Whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? How can I pass by? You're in pain. No arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick sharp too. I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh <clears throat> it hurts. Carl's guard. Again? Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Take it easy and tell me what I can do. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Uh, what expedition? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation. But enough. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Um, you're not telling me the whole story, honey. Four, three, seven. Seven. Yeah, we got it. Cool. All right. Fine. It's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? I mean, gives us something else to do in the city. Yeah, why not? Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some dwegger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Goodness, we have quite a bit to do now. All right, I'm excited. I'm, uh, a noble endeavor. Carlock is inside. Effectively use a noble stock mushroom. And successfully use a fairy green. Cannot remember for the life of me what that was, but uh, yeah. Now we have boots of speed. What do these do? Click heels. Um, okay. What does that do? Speed and freedom of movement. Okay, now that is a cool ability. 
Um, let's see here. You have my attention. What am I to do? All right. Looky there. Nice. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and probably more than likely go down and help the, uh, uh, the people for sure. Let's see. Uh, looks like... Okay. So we can talk to Sergeant Thryn if we want to Give her the boots, and then, of course, find the deep gnomes wherever they're at. Right, yeah. We have some things to do, so I'll go ahead and take a look and see what I can do. Okay, so we're back, and... Uh, taking a look at this place, it looks like there's only four we absolutely have to worry about, which is good. Though, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know... It wound up being tougher than that. Um, the tough or, toughest one is going to be Gleck Cole down here. He has 62 health, mage armor, and he's level 7. So, yeah, that's not going to be fun. So, I'm not sure how we should handle this. But. La, la, la. I think the safest place to start this little fiasco would be in here. Alright. I wonder what the next move is. Wits and blades always sharp. All right, did myself a little buffing, so let's see how this goes.
so your carcass can rise. Enjoy this.
us ahead.
And there we go. We did it. Nice. Not too hard, actually. That was really good. That was a fun fight. Uh, so, yeah. Curious to see what uh, sort of goodies they have and what sort of uh, adventures this boat will take me on. Now that they're gone, we should be able to hopefully get over to where the slaves are and rescue them. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that's going to be it. I did run out of time during the fight, but I thought, fuck it, let's finish this off and... Yeah, we finished them off. So <laughs> when next we come back, we'll hopefully be on the way to finding the rest of the Sphere of Nivellum slaves and hopefully we'll get them all rescued. But that'll be for next time. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and farewell.